Good afternoon. Is the newly redrawn congressional district map for New Mexico legal or is it a case of gerrymandering? We'll have to wait another week to find out. A lawsuit brought by the Republican Party of New Mexico wrapped up just last night, but the judge still has a lot to consider. News 13's Natalie Wattis has been following this trial from the outset. She joins us now from downtown Albuquerque. Natalie. Dean, attorneys from both sides gave their closing arguments last night, but the judge says he wants some more documents from lawmakers before he makes his <clears throat> final decision. This is either the worst or one of the worst um, maps in, in New Mexico's history. That's the argument the Republican Party of New Mexico is making about the congressional district map that was redrawn in 2021. This is involved partisan intent, this is egregious partisan effect, and that my friends have no justification for that effect. We would ask your honor to uh, hold that this is a unconscious partial gerrymander and to schedule remedial proceedings at the earliest possible time. Republicans in this case have to satisfy three things in order to prove this map is a case of egregious gerrymandering. They have to show that lawmakers intended to gerrymander the map, that they were successful in having that effect on the districts, and in turn, that lawmakers couldn't justify any other reason for why the map changed. But attorneys for the legislature fought back against their opponents' claims and highlighted that the Supreme Court has said some level of partisanship is expected and okay when creating these maps. SB1 is not an egregious partisan gerrymander for one very simple reason. Under this plan, Congressional District 2 is a highly competitive toss-up district that either party can win. Both sides brought on expert witnesses who created simulated model maps of the congressional districts. Each expert disagreeing with the other on whether this map is gerrymandered. In closing arguments, attorneys attacked the experts' testimonies again. Garbage in, garbage out. When you force a simulation to put in a partisan criteria, you just get garbage out. And that's unfortunately what we had with this thousand simulations, which is mostly 3-0 demo, uh, Democrat maps. Council for lawmakers saying the same of the Republicans expert. Mr. Trendy's 2,040,000 uh, maps that he testified about are not testable. His maps are really not tied to any reality of New Mexico. Now the judge is asking for texts and emails from lawmakers involved in the redistricting. He gave counsel until end of business day Monday to get those in. Back to you. All right, Natalie, thank you. And the judge has until next Friday to determine whether the map was in fact gerrymandered.